Let us pray to the Lord our God. O oh Lord our God, as we worship here in the beauty of holiness, we praise your name for the pastor and the people who prayed and gave and sacrificed and worked that thousands of us might gather here today. Lord God, our dwelling place in all generations, we praise you for the victory of Christ that is made manifest to all in the quiet defiance of Rosa Parks. In her smiling life, we see your gracious face. We feel your amazing love in her humble name. We hear the echoing vibrations of your excellent name and nature. As her name represents the powers of the weak, your name communicates the humanity and humility of ultimate power. O oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name, how awesome is your glory, how rich is your mercy, how inclusive is your peace. We cannot think about Rosa Parks without praising your name for making her who she is. As Archimedes called for a place to stand and a lever and said he would move the earth, we praise you because she found a seat to sit on. And she stayed in that seat and with your word and your living Christ, she moved the entire universe closer to justice, love, and peace. We praise you today because you gave her all she needed just to keep her seat. You made her keep her seat on row 11, behind 10 rows reserved only for whites. She sat on the aisle seat. Next to her sat a man nearest the window on the right hand side of the bus facing forward. Next to her, there were two black men sitting in their seats. But oh God, it was you, nobody but you. The, the black men got up and moved when told to do so. A black woman got up and moved, but Rosa Park kept her seat. We thank you that she sat in that seat because you told her to stay there. You told her that she was your child and she didn't have to move back. You told her to keep her seat because she was made in your image, saved by your blood, designed for your glory, destined for your kingdom. She sat there. She sat there so that we might sit in higher seats. And because she sat where she sat, we are now sitting in the halls of Congress, sitting on the Supreme Court, sitting as presidents and CEOs of global corporations, heads of Ivy League schools, pastors of mega churches, secretaries of states, sitting at the table where cosmic decisions are made. We thank you, we praise you, because she said where she sat, we praise you for the immovable power of a child of yours who knew that she was right and would not move. Custom said, get up. Society said, get up. History said, get up. The law said, get up. Uncle Tom politics said, get up. The bus driver growled, get up. The policeman and the sheriff said, get up. But she sat there because you gave her the power to defy an un unjust law. She heard your voice as recorded in Isaiah the 41th chapter and the 10th verse. She heard you say, fear not, for I am with you. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. We praise you today because she took away all of the strength of Jim Crow 
Jim Crow had to cough up blood. Absurdity had to move out of the way. We thank you that a meeting was called. A new leader was chosen. His name was Martin Luther King Jr. We thank you that because she sat down, you made her the midwife in the birth of the greatest leader for justice that the world has known since Christ. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because the oppressed souls have been set free. She sat there. And because she sat there, we're sitting up in here. Oh God, we must confess to you with utter honesty that we have not finished her defiant revolution. She cannot rest, oh God, until we renew our courage and do our work. We cannot rest. She cannot be at peace until the world comes closer to your will. There's too much greed, selfishness in the world. Oil companies are making windfall profits while poor people cannot afford to heat their homes or to put gas in their tanks. A few people have fabulous health care, but most people have no health care at all. 27 million Africans are dying with AIDS. She cannot rest until they've been treated. We have less than 20% of the Earth's population, and yet we eat 80% of the Earth's food. She cannot rest until somebody stands in the way of terrible injustice. Unnecessary and unwarranted wars are being fought causing a monstrous waste of blood and money. Somebody needs to sit in the way. A proposal that will destroy affirmative action in Michigan will show up on the ballot in November 9, 2006. We need somebody to work to defeat that proposal. Oh, God, you have taken her from us. We will miss the warmth of her deathless smile. We will miss the touch of her vanished hand. But do, Lord, put her mantle of, sh of courage on our shoulders. Straighten up our spines. Raise up our bowed down heads. Stir up our demoralized spirits. Help us to sit in the way of customs. Help us to sit in the way of injustice. Help us to march in the way of war and poverty until justice wells up his waters and righteousness is a mighty stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the purity of her heart. Thank you for the integrity of her personality. Thank you for the smile on her face, for the sanctity of her soul. Thank you for her gift of intelligence, for her faith and for her hope. Thank you that she did not die in mystery or perplexity, but she died in victory and certainty. Thank you that if we wear the image of the earthly, we should also put on the garments of eternity. Thank you that those who suffer here will reign beyond here. Thank you that when this earthly house has been dissolved, we got another building, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Thank you that the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. Thank you that death shall be swallowed up in victory and we will see her face again. Thank you that we'll see Jesus. We'll be there when they crown him Lord of Lords. I wish I had 10,000 tongues just to thank you. If I were Chinese, I'd say, oh dear. If I were Danish, I'd say, manga tat. If I were Italian, I'd say, grazia. If I were Hebrew, I'd say, toda raba. If I were Greek, I would say, Eucharisto. If I were Japanese, I'd say, Dobo Arigato. If I were Portuguese, I'd say, Obligado. If I were Spanish, I'd say, Muchas Gracias. If I were German, I'd say, Danke Shane. If I were French, I'd say, Merci beaucoup. If 
I were Russian, I'd say Spasiba. If I were Kenyan, I'd say Ashanta. If I were Nigerian, I'd say Eje Pupu. If I were Zulu, I'd say Ingia Bonga. If I were Sutu, I'd say Kiali Boha. If I were deaf, I'd say, but since I am who I am, and I've got what I've got, and I feel what I feel, I'll just say, thank you, thank you, praise your name. Shout glory!